Next is the Nashville Next update. Uh, Michael, thank you. Uh, good afternoon. I'm Michael Briggs. I'm in the Community Plans Division. And I'm briefly going to uh, talk about the natural resources and hazard adaptation uh, work that's been underway uh, with Nashville Next. Um, you'll remember that uh, we have uh, seven resource teams and that all members uh, of the resource teams, a list of them can be found on the nationalnext.net uh, website. Uh, the Natural Resources and Hazard Adaptation Resource Team members are providing their local expertise to the steering committee and the broader community so we can understand the trends that will affect Nashville's natural resources and how we can better adapt to extreme weather over the next 25 years. Uh, they've developed goals and policies to achieve the community's vision for natural resources and they'll be working on action items this fall. Uh, remember that all of the resource teams uh, will work to make sure the future land use, transportation, and infrastructure investments will be harnessed to meet these goals. Uh, the resource teams have committed to work in phases throughout the process of developing the Nashville Next Plan. Uh, right now they're on a break, but you'll notice that we will be reviewing a preferred scenario uh, with them in the fall, um, and they will reconvene at that time. Uh, the Natural Resources and Hazard Adaptation Resource Team has identified several issues of importance impacting the area's natural environment and our community's ability to adapt to the increasing number of extreme weather events. Um, as you know, through this process, we anticipate another 185,000 new residents in Davidson County by 2040. Uh, this level of population growth puts pressure on our more rural and natural environments to be developed and a growth pattern that is more spread out and lower in density across the county has a greater likelihood of damaging key, key natural assets, uh, polluting more streams, and also making the county less resilient to weather events such as flooding. Uh, the resource team members also want to introduce the idea of creating a culture of sustainability in Nashville. Uh, one way to do that is ensuring that Nashville's infrastructure, buildings, and natural surroundings reflect sustainability and encourage sustainable living. Uh, the sustainable way to develop should be our preferred method to develop. Uh, these methods might include utilizing Metro's low impact development manual, uh, more often which encourages handling stormwater runoff more naturally with bioswells and uh, green roofs. And we should also be prepared to continue funding and maintaining our growing system of parks, open space, and greenways. And with the culture of sustainability, uh, recycling is easy and convenient. Uh, children learn sustainable habits in reducing energy use, and it's easier to walk, bike, and take transit. And these behaviors make a more resilient community when a disaster occurs. And when we experience extreme weather like flooding or drought, Nashville is prepared to respond. Uh, the region's natural resources are cared for and maintained, and this protection helps the city handle major rain events by reducing runoff and allowing the ground to recharge more during heavy rains. Um, unfortunately, we've also had a history of damaging our most uh, vulnerable neighborhoods and residents who may not have had a voice in the past uh, decision making. Um, noxious facilities and constructing infrastructure uh, has divided some neighborhoods and we should strive to lessen these impacts upon our neighbors and actively work to engage those who are overlooked and not heard in the planning process. Open debate and different perspectives make a strong and resilient Nashville. So we've been reviewing with the community a draft set of goals and policies uh, that the resource team has developed. And keep in mind that the goals are broad level statements for a future condition. And again, we'll be working with the resource teams to develop action items this fall that relate to these goals and policies. Uh, there are five goals for natural resources and hazard adaptation, and they broadly address the issues that I just covered. Uh, the first goal emphasizes building a culture of sustainability through education and changes in behavior. Uh, we want to prompt action amongst our residents. The second goal relates to Nashville's businesses and neighborhoods and their contribution to conservation and reducing waste. And goal three is related to the entire built and natural environments and being prepared to handle the impact of hazards and catastrophes. 
The fourth goal emphasizes the investment, both everyday maintenance and financial investment in Nashville's natural environment for a range of purposes. And finally, goal five reiterates that all communities need to be considered for environmental protection and that all people need access to Nashville's natural environment. Access to our surroundings will make for a happier and healthier community. So that briefly wraps up where we are with the Natural Resources and Hazard Adaptation Team, and I can stay really quick to answer any questions. Thank you. Have. Commission members, any, any questions on that? And I do want to just take a note while we have a, a big audience is that Nashville Next is a really big deal, and if you care about planning in Nashville, you need to, to check it out, come to the meetings, be involved, um, and so that's why we put Nashville Next on the agenda. So thank you for giving us um, that update. Any questions from, from the commission members? 